we are here for a super quick and incredibly exciting announcement. I am here with my fairy god producer, Karen Hyatt, who not only edits my videos, but has been working like crazy to make the documentary that is released right now. It's on Karen Hyatt's channel. It will be linked below on Sunday. Hopefully it will be on this channel as well and you will be able to see it. But this is, I, I, Karen, I don't even know what to say. I am astounded and amazed by what you have done. It's incredible work. First of all, thank you for all, everything you do. I hope everyone fill the comments with big, huge hearts and loves and thank yous for Karen because she is amazing. And this documentary that you have done, do you want to just hurry and introduce it and, and tell us about sure. it? Sure. 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 It's called, so it's called Woe Unto You Scribes, The Hidden History of Polygamy. Um, so I, I'm just a little bit, you know, I, I really wanted to point out the caliber of the evidence on which the polygamy story is based. Because as most people that watch your show know, it's so weak, and it's so frail and flimsy, and nobody knows this. They just hear that we believe this and Joseph did it and done, done deal. So we just believe it. And then we're left to go, boy, that doesn't make sense with anything I've been taught in the gospel, but it must be true because there it is in the scriptures, there it is in the doctrine and covenants. And and everyone says he did, so I guess he did. And we all, like so many of us, know that the Book of Mormon's true. And that is Joseph's fruit. Like that is what Heavenly Father gave us so that we could understand that he was a prophet, so that we could give weight to his counsel and his uh, his preachings and his prophesyings. So it's it's really, really hard when you think he's a polygamist and it doesn't jive with everything else you know about him. So I just wanted to exonerate him. I just wanted to equip everyone. What they do with it after this is, I don't care. <laughs> I'm like good with whatever you do. If you still hang on to whatever ideas you've always had, that's fine. If you embrace some new ideas, that's fine. I don't care. My job's done. <laughs> Right. What, and I told Karen, what I'm so excited about is I think there is so much incredible work being done. And I think more hands on deck, the better, right? This is a huge job we are trying to accomplish. So we need everyone. Like there's room for everybody's voice, please. Right. Absolutely. But what I, yeah. Yeah. What I love about this documentary, I think, I think that so many people are doing incredibly important work. I think the work I'm doing is very important and hopefully has been helping a lot of people. The challenge has been at this point now with my channel, hey, go watch these 150 episodes, right? And um, and it's just overwhelming for a lot of people. What we have want, what I have wanted, and I've tried to do this in a few different episodes that I hope are compelling to people that they can share with loved ones. But what I have been wanting is something to just be able to say to someone, hey, here, watch this, two hours, and it will just give you this overview. And and I, a lot of people say that can't be done. That's impossible. It's too big. Or they, they have we have little episodes that just have a tiny little snippet or big episodes that go deep into one topic. And so what you have managed to accomplish to do a two-hour um, documentary that you can give to somebody who has no clue about this. Like my my darling, wonderful neighbor who I just adore, I was talking to her about it and she said, wait, what section 132? Like she, like, like just no idea, right? Yeah. I am going to give this to her and just say, hey, I just, I, this is something that I think is wonderful. It'll help you understand a little bit of where I'm coming from if you'd like to watch it, Perfect. right? Or I am so excited to give it to my wonderful bishop and his wife, who he is just a wonderful, wonderful, they, they are wonderful people. I adore them. And he has just kind of said, I have a simple faith. I don't want to get into the complicated issues. I'm like, totally understand. I totally get it. I think that is beautiful and profound. And But I feel like this is a tool that I can say, this might be something that would just give you an understanding of you know, where some people are coming from and will help you deal, help you minister to people who might be struggling with some of these issues. Right. 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 Or, I, I, I mean, that. that's, yeah, I, that's what I, that's what I think this is. So I guess it's kind of like this um, documentary allows all of us 
to sort of be, I know you didn't love this term, but I love it, to be like missionaries. Like when Joseph Smith was being attacked by John Bennett, he sent out an entire missionary force to try to clear his name. And it wasn't, I don't think for his sake, it was for the gospel's sake, right? And right. that's what I feel like we are doing. Like this isn't for Joseph Smith's sake, this is for the gospel's sake, because really who I feel, everyone knows this, who we are exonerating is God. We are saying yes. this is not who God is, right? No, and that's guess exactly. What? It, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and and I don't, yeah, I don't object to it being to to. I do feel like a missionary. I do. I. I it's like wow, I haven't felt this way, and um, oh, I would. I don't want to say how many years, but anyway, um, it's super exciting. And exactly what you're saying, like somebody just asked me like, well, what was your goal in making this? Like I showed it to someone and he said, well, what was your goal in making this? And I was like, I mean, for one thing, I say it right in there, what the goal is. And we've talked about it a lot. And you've talked about it a lot is just simply sharing truth. I think that stands alone. I think that's sufficient reason all by itself. But, um, but my, one of my goals is to just unburden women who have this rattling around in the back of their head that they don't want to think about their husband you know, being intimate with somebody else someday or having to welcome, it does, it makes no sense. I can't mm -hmm. think of any other doctrine that we're like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want anyone to know about it. And when church leaders always are like, well, don't worry, only two to 5% of people practice it. That just makes me laugh because we don't do that about any other doctrine. Can you imagine the missionaries going out and they're like, well, don't worry, only two to 5% of people don't swear. Only two to five percent of Mormons don't drink. Only two to five percent don't smoke. It, it's no big deal. There is no other doctrine that I can think of, except for some that Brigham taught that we disavowed. But I can't think of anything that we teach now that we would rather not talk about, or we want to assure people that it's not going to be a problem for them. <laughs> so it's like, right. Ah. Right. so anyway, yes. I just love it. It's it's beautiful. I think it, we need to unburden women, and also I can't we can't without unburden men from the weight of like yep. all of us are carrying around this false doctrine, this abomination that we are required to kind of. I mean, we, that we feel like we have to just keep it around, even though it's stinking things up, right? And so, so we're going to make this video really short right now because the important thing is the documentary that will be linked in the description box, and I. Yep, yep. Go ahead and link it. And then Karen and I will also, our, my plan for this Sunday is to have a conversation with Karen and we're just trying to decide the best way to do that, maybe a watch party. But it's going to be um, this documentary. What I was going to say is I think that this is an opportunity for all of us to be missionaries because this is like the church keeps kept forever providing tools, pass along cards or, you know, all the different things to enable us to spread the good word. And I feel like this documentary is a really beautiful, profound way to do that. So that's thank why you. I'm, I'm, oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Karen. Thanks for saying so, that. You know what? I have to tell everybody, make sure you click on the link right now or whenever you like, what is it? 630 right now. Just go start watching it. You can watch it in two parts. If you, if you don't want to watch it all in a chunk, it's two hours, but I have to tell you all that Michelle hasn't even seen the ending because something came to my attention today. <laughs> I was all ready to go. And this morning, I happened to see something on YouTube, and I couldn't believe it. And I had to put snippets of it on here. You're gonna die. It is the best news. Michelle is gonna jump for joy. I was jumping for joy. My son was laughing. He's like, stop dancing. So I you're going to be so happy to hear the end of it, I think. So I'm super excited about this. Click on it right now, you guys, and start sharing it in the most friendly way possible. I love I love how you were saying, Michelle, that you were just like, just watch this and then you'll, you know, understand me better and stuff like that. I love that. Um, you know, it's never a, this will show you guys that, you know, we've been right all the time, or, you know, this will prove what we've been saying. That's just never appealing. It's totally off-putting. You know what? So truth is not, truth is not well shared with contention. It's the, whole, yeah. we all know this. It's the Holy right. Spirit that convinces people. And that is done right. with humility and love. That is, that is the only way to share truth. And I so agree. That's what I agree. To do. So I just think it's good news. It is part of the good news of the gospel. So just be like, guess what, you guys, this is so wonderful. Anyway, I hope you love it. And um, yeah, we'll talk more Sunday, probably clips or something. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun on Sunday. 
So watch it okay. between now and then. And yep, we will see you soon. I hope you enjoy this amazing documentary. Thank you, Karen. And yeah, we'll be back.